Hi, this is Josh Wheel. I'm the HVAC Technical Service Manager here at the RF Egger Company, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate how to measure the total external static pressure on an HVAC system. The purpose of knowing the total external static pressure is it, one of the main reasons to be able to determine the CFM, the volume of air we have moving through our indoor unit. Today, I'm gonna to use a digital field piece dual port manometer. You can use a magnahelic, you can use an incline manometer. Uh, I'm going to use this dual port uh, electronic. So when it comes to total external static pressure, the, the, the thing I can't stress enough is we need to measure everything after the blower and everything before the blower. So anything this blower is going to work against, we need to measure that. This particular system has an A-coil on it. We need to be able to take that into consideration. We need to measure all the, the ductwork, any um, registers, takeoffs, boots, filters, a return duct, grills. All that has to be accounted for because all that causes resistance, and that resistance is going to change the airflow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my one port, and I'm going to install, insert it in this hole I drilled in the, the uh, furnace box. The filter is running diagonally here. So when I insert here, I will be measuring everything before the blower, including the filter. Next thing I want to do is, 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 get a, is insert my supply side probe. A little tip here especially when you're working on a, on a gas furnace with an A-coil, instead of having to try to drill a hole into this coil, what you can do is pull out the high limit. I've already removed the screws. So what I'm gonna do is pull out the high limit and I'm gonna take my supply probe and I'm gonna insert it into that space. Like so. So now when I turn this blower on, I'm gonna be measuring everything after the blower and everything before the blower. So I'm gonna turn the fan to on and you can see right now we're reading zero inches of water column. As this blower comes on and ramps up, you're gonna see that number increase. You can see it's going from zero now, it's slowly driving up as the blower comes up to speed. I am on port one right now, so I am measuring the supply static, the positive pressure. You can see we're at about 0.14 to 0.15 inches. Now I'm gonna change my port to port number two where I'm measuring my return static, the negative static. You can see I have about 0.03 to 0.04 inches of, of static on the return. Now, even though this is a negative number, I'm going to take the, the sum of both numbers to get my total external static pressure. So I'm gonna take 0 0.03 and add that to 0.15, which is gonna give me a, a total external static of 0.18 inches. At this point, I can go to the blower curve for this particular unit and every uh, air handler furnace for every manufacturer does have a blower curve and it's going to list from basically from zero to eight inches of static pressure, all the CFMs. So I'm going to go to that chart. I have 0.18 inches and, and on that chart, I'm now going to be able to determine what CFM this gas furnace is moving through here. The other thing I wanted to demonstrate is what happens when we add restriction to the blower, right? So if I start closing off supply registers, watch what happens to our static pressure number. You can see I have two registers closed off and now we've almost doubled our static pressure reading. I'm gonna relieve it again and open these registers and you're gonna see that static pressure fall. Now I'm gonna change my port to port two where we're measuring return duct return static, and I'm going to block off the return grill. And watch what it does to the static pressure. 
is well over an inch of static, which is extremely, extremely resistant. Basically what I'm demonstrating is, is there is a dirty filler or a blocked coil. You know, these things will contribute to the resistance of the duct system and will, will um, reduce your airflow. So that is how you measure total external static pressure. Thank you for watching our YouTube video and have a great day.